the Ouija board starts to spell Zozo over and over again in rapid succession, and then. I'm looking to his movement of the hand, right? If he actually and uh, lands on the Z and the O. And so far it actually does. Um, hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another reaction video. Guys, in today's video we're gonna react to 10 Ouija board possessions caught on tape. Okay? <laughs> now, uh, before we get to the video, uh, first of all, let's say, let's talk about the Ouija board. What is that? Alright? Uh, apparently the Ouija board is like a way for people to communicate with the world of spirits, you know, with demons or ghosts or something like that. I don't really believe in the Ouija board. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's uh, something that really happens. Okay. Uh, mainly because one of the, I mean, let's say it like this. One of the rules says that you don't have to, you shouldn't play alone. Okay. Now, I get that maybe it's meant to scare people off, okay, so they don't play with the Ouija board alone and they can actually join with other people. But the problem is that when you have like 10 people or 5 or 4, whatever it is, 4 or 5 people playing the game uh, together and they keep their hands on that um, a lens, there's like a lens I think or something like that, and uh, then you ask the questions to like ghosts and stuff like that and that lens will move. But at this point you need to understand that maybe one of your friends is moving that lens instead of uh, an actual ghost or demon right so i don't really think it's a it's a <laughs> it's a real one i think people are just messing around with this and i'm pretty sure this was like a toy back in the day i, I don't even know i haven't done my research to be honest about it but i should probably do some research and find out if the ouija board is something that was used uh i don't know hundreds of years ago or it's just something that happens in the last uh, 50 years or so you know however with that being said even though i don't believe in ghosts and demons and all that stuff i don't think i would ever buy a ouija board and play with it okay maybe with one that you can buy in the store for kids you know like a, a plastic one a shitty one maybe with that one i wouldn't mind but i would never go to like an antique store you know and see a Ouija board on the table in the corner <laughs> and buy it and play with that one because I don't know for me <laughs> what if there is something out there okay we've watched on this channel we've watched uh, videos with ghosts uh, possessions even aliens recently the last one and they're all really easy to uh, debunk and uh, and find out they're fake but at the end of the day guys okay we don't know we don't know anything we don't know what happens after we die okay that's the main question you can take any scientist any documents that you want from the history from present from past from future whatever you want and try to figure out even based on science you need to find you want to try to understand what happens after we die okay do we become ghosts do we go in heaven do we go in hell uh, do we travel through the universe whatever happens we don't know no one can tell us what happens after we die no type of science will explain that uh, for us so i don't know what if there are ghosts but i've never encountered them right and then i take this ouija board and i start playing with it <laughs> and i wake up some fucking demons in my house or ghosts you know no thank you i don't want to do that okay i'm not gonna play with any of that shit but apparently some people they do <laughs> and they get possessed so that's what we're gonna react to today okay guys if you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe if you want to become members of my channel just press the join button and without further ado let's watch the video all right guys so let's start i'm actually excited <laughs> okay uh let me have my coffee here uh this uh, video comes from the chills uh, channel which is an amazing channel. I love this channel. has a lot of good videos. But uh, let's see what happens here. Chills. Number Chills. 10, high-tech ghost. If you okay. can summon spirits using a homemade Ouija board, then it stands to reason that a digital version would work just as well. This is what happened to an 18-year-old girl from Lima, Peru, when she used a Ouija board app on her smartphone. After using... Whoa. Wait, there are Ouija board apps? You're joking. All right. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. I just, I really want to see this. Is this a thing? Holy shit, this is a thing, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Okay. I hope you guys see it. Come on, camera. Come back to normal. It is an actual thing, guys. Okay, so let's see what happens here. In the app with her friends to ask just a few questions. Patricia Keyspay somehow managed to summon a spirit that apparently followed her home. Soon after playing with the board, her parents noticed that she started to throw violent tantrums and foam at the mouth. Wait, she actually went up in hospital with convulsions after playing with the Ouija on her, on her phone. Wait, how is that working? I mean, obviously, it's not a fake video, okay? Because she ended up in hospital. And I'm 100% sure that, uh, you know, uh, doctors and uh, people from hospital, they're not going to accept to be part of a, a stupid video, fake one, right? Uh, that is made just for the views. Now, the question is, is the girl in the video faking it? Because that might be a fake, okay? Maybe she's just uh, pretending uh, she got convulsions from this one. Or, <laughs> hear me out here, maybe uh, those convulsions, they don't come from a ghost or from playing with a Ouija board. Maybe she did something different. <laughs> I don't know, like alcohol or drugs. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so maybe it doesn't come from Ouija board, right? I, I mean, again, the video should be, apparently it's real because she's in hospital, but what what happened to her might not be real okay so anyway let's uh, keep going and see what else uh, is happening with this girl her voice changed too it became strained and evil as she thrashed about in her restraints the poor girl often shouted the same phrases over and over again. She would repeat the number six three times in a row, and she would also tell doctors to give her back her phone, presumably so that she could get back on the Ouija app and cause further damage. She was taken to a psychiatric ward to be further examined. Whether she regained her senses or remains internally possessed is a mystery. Number. Okay, but again, I don't understand how, how it happened with the, with the app on the phone, right? I mean, it's an app. Presumably, if you have a board, a real one, okay? Again, you have that lens and you move that one with your hands. Uh, or Actually, you shouldn't move it. The ghost should move that one, okay? Not you. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no point of playing and trying to contact ghosts. But presumably, you keep your hands on the, on the lens and the ghost will move it to the different letters to answer your questions. If you ask for like name or uh, you ask any questions, you should, uh, the ghost should move it to like yes or no or something like that. On an app, it's not real, right? It's on the phone. So you might ask a question, but maybe there's like a software behind that app that answers your questions. It shouldn't be a ghost. Or even if it was a ghost, how the ghost would move the lens on the... I mean, uh, man, this doesn't make any fucking sense. It's just burning, it's <laughs> hurting my brain. How, it, how, that, how did she get possessed using that, that uh, app, right? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's move on to number nine. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe something... That's a weird one. For me, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. But anyway... Let's see. Number nine, the summoning. Four girls are about to witness the power of the Ouija board firsthand. The, the video begins just as they are receiving an answer to their final question, and they are now ready to end the session. They start to move the cup in a circle three times to clear the board. But a cup? What cup? Well, they were playing with a cup. Are ready to end the session. Okay, I, this is a homemade Ouija board. This is not a real one for sure. Uh, you do, usually there's like a lens that you use, not. Uh, not the cup. <laughs> Session. They start to move the cup in a circle, times to clear the board. But whatever they have summoned is not exactly ready to leave quite yet. Okay. Oh my God! Just before the girls can cast the spirit back into its own dimension. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so stupid. 
Okay, all right. Wait, let, let, let me end this this one to see exactly if she does anything else. Shen, it desperately leaps inside one of them and takes control. Then the possession ends as quickly as it began. They What's on her mouth? Is that blood? They all rush in and one of the girls cradles her friends in her arms as she cries and trembles. They ask if she needs any water, even though I'm not sure exactly what happened. Looks like blood. Did she bite her lips? I think it's safe to say that a glass of water probably isn't going to be enough to help her. Number eight. All right, so that can be a really, really easy to fake, okay? Uh, maybe that friend would just wanted to play a, <laughs> a prank on her friends there and she pretended like she's possessed. I don't really think she got, she actually got possessed. However, she did a little bit the extra mile, she, uh, you know, to uh, use the blood on her mouth. Uh, spilling. I don't know if she bite her lips or uh, maybe she just had some, I don't know, some syrup or something, you know, to make it look like uh, there's blood there. But I don't believe that one for sure. All right, let's see number eight. Eight stuffed stare. As this footage from Mexico shows, humans are far from the only things that can potentially become possessed by summoned spirits. In this video, three friends are just hanging out together in a cramped room, trying to use a Ouija board. Oh, wait, what happens up there? Do you guys see this doll here? It's moving or something. Or to summon whatever spirits they can find. Yeah. Suddenly, it looks like they attract some supernatural attention. You can't hear any sound, but you can tell things are starting to get interesting by the way they all lean forward and wait for the next answer. The room appears to grow very hot for a moment, and the man in the center rubs some sweat from his brow. As he does this, a white stuffed bear above him springs to life. It appears to look down at... All right, so let's look at this one for a second because I think this is the whole video. It might be someone there inside there moving the bear, right? I want to see if there's any reactions the from them. Of them. And it especially seems to regard the person on the left the most. The man on the left eventually looks up and the two lock eyes. He immediately starts to point out the possessed bear to his friends. But when his friends look up to see what he's talking about, the bear stops moving. It looks like they get in a small argument for a moment as the man tries to convince his friends that he isn't making up a story and that he really did see the bear move. One of them picks up the bear and examines it. It doesn't do anything, so they all sit down with the Ouija board and start over again. When they start to ask another question with the Ouija board, the stuffed toy begins to look around some more. This time it makes no attempt to hide itself as they all turn around and watch in horror. They all jump up from their seats and run out of the room, so terrified that none of them even think to take the camera with them. If you're enjoying the video- Okay, um, I don't know about this one, right? So again, it looks like there is some space in here. So there could be a hole here. And maybe someone, but I don't know, unless the whole group, they're faking it. If you think, if there is only one of the friends is faking the, the whole thing, right? And uh, I don't know, one uh, another one of their friends is inside here trying to move the doll with, uh, with his hand, right? The other two, when they checked the bear, because he picked up the bear, right? The other two should have noticed like a hole or something there, right? Uh, and they should say, oh, wait, there's a hole. Why? Uh, what are you showing me? So uh, they would open the doors there and check inside. If they do all of them, they if they uh, the three guys, they're faking it, then uh, probably there is someone here and they just do it for the for the sake of the video. Right. <sighs> More coffee. It's amazing. Um, yeah. Anyway, easy to fake this video, to be honest. But again, we uh, we don't have too much information. Okay, I would love I I would have loved them to uh, open this one and see who's inside there. If there's someone inside there or behind, that doesn't look like there's space behind. And the movement of the bear, it's not like a, just the head or something like that. It's moving everything, like arms and head everywhere. So unless there's someone in there with a the hand uh, sticking inside the bear and moving it, I don't see how else you can uh, fake this one with strings and something like that. It doesn't really work out. But anyway, let me guys know what you think, okay? 
uh anyway let's move to the next one so so far please give it a like as it really helps me out number seven homemade possessions you don't okay. need to buy an official ouija board if you want to contact the dead g money gaming and his friend decided to do it themselves using a ouija board that they made with a piece of paper and a plastic pointer little did they know how effective their design would turn out to be g money begins asking if there are any spirits in the room with them and he immediately gets a positive response when he asks how many spirits there are the answer is two. By this point, G Money and his friend are sufficiently scared, but they decide to keep going anyway. G Money bravely asks the spirits what their names are, and he gets a dreadful response zozo and mama these two spirits are famous for haunting ouija board users throughout the world, and they are even rumored to possibly be demons with strong ties to Satan. Zozo. Zozo. Oh my god, dude. What was that? What the heck was that? We need to end the session right now. The Ouija board starts to spell Zozo over and over again in rapid succession, and then. I'm looking to his movement of the hand, right? If he actually end, uh, lands on the Z and the O. And so far, it actually does. Something is knocked over from deeper within the house. The two friends know that they have to end the session fast before anything bad can happen. So G Money quickly moves the pointer over to goodbye. Just when this happens, the pointer slides away as if something had grabbed. Okay, that was a bit creepy, but... Back out of the room, the entire board flies at them, and they launch into a full sprint. Number six. Okay, again, easy to fake, right? If you think about it. Maybe that pointer was had like a string attached to it and there was someone in the room who pulled the string just to move it to fly, uh, make it fly away. The same goes for the board. Maybe it had a string attached to it and someone just pulled it and made it, it look like it's flying towards them. Uh, however, what it intrigued me was the movement of the pointer when he had the hands, right? And uh, was spelling the name Zozo because it was going through uh, Z and O in a really smooth manner right uh, let's pretend you fake it and you do it it will be really hard to move your hand that fast and to end exactly on the z and the o on perfect timing right you, sometimes you would mess up you would go on uh, a different letter or even f away from the board or something like that if you do it fast but he was doing quite fast and he was always landing on those two letters so i don't know that it's it's, it wasn't a bad one actually. I, I actually like this one more than uh, more than the other one because again, it's it's how the, the his hand moved through the uh, when spelling the name right. That's the main main factor there. But anyway, you guys let me know what do you think. Do you think it was fake or not? Six, Lisa. Number six. A man and a woman manage to successfully summon a female spirit while a third person films. L I S A. The spirit spells Lisa. Look, for example, here, I, I don't buy it. Okay, look how slow they're moving. You know, they try to land exactly on the letter while Zozo, he was going through the letters like this. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, Obviously, uh, going back to the, the previous video, maybe. He was moving it slow the, um, uh, to spell the name and then they edited the video and it, uh, they put it on high speed to make it look like it was fast. That might be a, a, a good explanation actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Did you push that? I did not push that. Of course you didn't. No, you guys no. push that over to the X like that. No. <laughs> you guys give him something to do. You know, you do know that this is stupid, right? And it's fake. Pazuzu. Why is Pazuzu? Ah, come on, this is a fake Ouija board. This is Pazuzu from the Exorcist movie, right? That's the name of the demon. And the statue as well. So, this, nah, this is a fake one. They just bought this uh, Ouija board from like a toy store. And now they're faking it, saying that it's, uh, uh, I don't know, a real one. Underneath the table? No. No. That looks like it moved all on its own. After this, the pointer dashes to the letter X on its own. Neither one of them appear to have pushed the pointer to the letter X. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, let me watch this one again. X on its own. Neither one of them appear to have pushed the pointer to the letter X. It seems to have moved there completely on its own. The cameraman checks under the table for magnets, but he doesn't find any, and there doesn't look to be any strings. There's a quick cut in the video. 
So unfortunately, we can't exactly hear the next question that they asked. Either way, the pointer circles a bit and lands on yes, and then it darts on its own back to the mysterious letter X for a second time. If this video is to be believed, then why did the spirit repeatedly choose the letter X? Perhaps it could have meant that it was an ex-lover, or on the other hand, the letter X could even represent her death. Exactly what Lisa wanted will never be known. They understandably backed away from the board after the second time that the pointer moved on on its own. However, it doesn't look like they properly ended the ceremony, so perhaps Lisa will be back for a second visit after all. Number all right. Um, how would they move that that one again? So actually, no, it's easy. It, even this one, it's easy to fake, right? If everyone is involved, including the cameraman, obviously the cameraman is there to uh, act like the guy who doesn't believe. Okay, he is, so he's asking the questions. Did you guys move it? Did you do this? Did you do that? But that doesn't mean it's uh, real. It doesn't mean that he uh, he actually doesn't believe. Maybe they're all together involved. And like uh, the guy said in the video, uh, there's been a lot of cutting through the video. So you, you don't know what happened there. I wish there would be a live stream video with something like this, you know? And it's live and it's out there while people are watching live on YouTube or Twitch, whatever. And you see the thing moving ar around on the uh, Ouija board, then I might believe it. <laughs> you know, uh, but so far I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't buy it. Anyway, let's see the number five. Number five. Did you die in the house? Number five. Contact. Prue continues to experience a high concentration of Ouija board possessions, this time in the city of Haiyan. Blanca Giovanna is only 16 years old when she and her other friends began to use the board for fun. Like so many others, she is not aware of the board's true danger and she is swallowed by evil for her ignorance. It's unclear how many times Blanca and her friends used the board to summon demons before she was finally overtaken by one. Maybe she became possessed after using the board just once. Or perhaps it took days of repeated attempts before a demon found its way from the board into her soul. Exactly how the demon got her is unknown, but in other Ouija board possession cases, it's usually either from taunting the spirit she is tied with a chain so what happened there why did they tie her with a chain did she try to escape why they would chain her i think this is in a mexico right so another another video where a television is there with cameras and stuff like that but to me this looks like another case of uh very bad drugs <laughs> usage right <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just uh, stupid but i don't i don't really believe this one either i uh, i don't know it's I, d I don't trust it spirit or failing to banish them back to their realm at the end of the ceremony what we do know is that this began a minor possession which soon grew out of control blanca went from being a carefree teenager to a violent maniac in just a matter of days her behavior became so aggressive that her family eventually could no longer deal with her they had her committed for a lack of a better idea while in her possessed form blanca continued to amaze and scare psychiatric workers to no end her evil antics even began to draw a crowd of curious locals and news reporters who all agree that she had seen the face of Satan when she wasn't trying to attack them outright. She was shouting mysterious satanic phrases and wailing terribly. Maybe it's just a teenager that uh, is looking for attention from uh, parents and friends and uh, people, right? And she's pretending like she's, uh, she's possessed and she's swearing and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Maybe she's just... A mental some mental illness or something like that she has you know number four josh says this footage comes from a youtuber named no biggie tv who decided to tempt fate and make a video testing out ouija boards he is extremely skeptical at first and he points out that ouija boards can't be that scary if they are allowed to sell at toys r us while he is waiting in line to buy it however a woman asks if he knows where the idea from ouija boards came from she says that the man who invented it sold his soul to the devil and that making it readily available to kids was part of an evil conspiracy no biggie tv ignores her warning and buys the board anyway he picks up a friend named dave and heads to dave's apartment after briefly reading some instructions, they are quickly communicating with the dead in no time. They All right. Um, so here we have a YouTuber, right? Now, whenever I hear a YouTuber doing this kind of stuff, I 
kind of tend to not believe it too much. Obviously, this video, I'm pretty sure this video is fake, unless something crazy happens, but I'm pretty sure this video is fake and it's made just for, uh, for likes and uh, <laughs> views, right? They contact a spirit who says his name is Josh. He was born in 1921. Things are getting a little too scary. So no biggie TV pulls a prank on his friend by pretending to be possessed. Okay, so wait, wait. And then the two get back to being serious. As the ceremony progresses, they start to hear breathing and other strange thumping noises. Besides the, the kitchen and the dog. The thumping? No, I hear some kind of breathing. That is so fucking spooky. What the fuck? Josh tells him that the house is not safe after using the Ouija board, but there is one thing that they can do to possibly change that. Burn me, Josh writes to them. Obviously, no one wants to have a haunted house, so the two friends waste little time doing exactly what Josh asks. They take the board around back and set the entire thing on fire, box and all. As the box burns, Dave's car starts to turn on randomly on its own. Even after they put the fire out, they could still hear the board sizzle. It gave no biggie TV an electrical shock when he touched it. Unfortunately, they couldn't burn the board properly, so they decided to drive as far as possible and throw it away instead. Although they did say goodbye to the board, nowhere in the video does it show them properly ending the session. Just how angry Josh will be that they didn't follow his exact orders remains to be seen. Number 3 Okay, that was a bullshit video. Alright. So he pretended like he got possessed while they were playing, right? And uh, now this is, was like a, an attempt to make people think, ah, it's all a prank, you know, but then all of a sudden something happens, you know, it becomes intriguing, the ghost is there, and uh, it's talking, that the ghost name is Josh, and tells them to burn, and then the canisters, you know, so that was all uh, theater, guys, right, it was all acting, obviously, and again, like I said, this, it was made for likes and uh, views on the on uh, their video because I haven't seen anything happening, right? It was just these two dudes moving that uh, lens on the table, on the board, and that's it. So, easy fake one. F fake one, 100% one, sure. Okay, let's move on to number three. Three, the pizza possession. Jackson Combs and his friend Stacy are bored late at night when they decide to summon some spirits to help pass the time. Yeah, of course, because that's what you do when you're bored at night. You <laughs> you take out your Ouija board and you start invoking some spirits, you know, because why, why not? <laughs> Man, some people. Oh my God. Anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> They are joined by a third friend, Alice, who brings with her the top of a pizza box. Together, they use it to make a homemade Ouija board. It's well past one in the morning by the time the three of them agree on a place to use it. They use a small cap as a pointer and spin it. Man, she doesn't even know the letters of the alphabet. She just, uh... <laughs> oh my god. All right. Whatever. And in three circles to clear the board, then they begin. Is anybody there? Jason asks. The pointer does not move, so he repeats himself. That's when the cup moves down into the left, stopping on yes. Jason asks what the spirit's name is, and the ghost writes back Susan. When asked if the spirit is good or bad, Susan says that she is good, then she says that she wants someone named Danny. None of them know who Danny is, so Susan says goodbye. The three friends could have stopped here, but they enjoyed the experience, so they decided to keep it up and try to contact other spirits. Again, they make three circles with the cup to clear the board. Another spirit soon makes itself known, but this time it isn't as nice as Susan. Instead of asking what the spirit's name is, Jason asks if it's a good spirit. It signals that no, it is not. They could have immediately discontinued contact from there, but they weren't feeling threatened enough at the time. Jason asks for its name. John, it writes back. What do you want? Jason asks out loud. Kill is the response that he is given. Even though no other questions are asked, the cup suddenly moves to the no answer and flips over. The three of them hear a noise coming from the bathroom, and Jason goes inside to investigate. door shuts behind him <laughs> in the house oh come on come on you know this is fake right <laughs> all right
Ghost fills with his screams. When the girls are able to get the door open, he is cowering in the corner. Whatever had been summoned had viciously attacked him. Number oh, two. Yeah, yeah, of course. Where? Show me. <laughs> nah, that, that was bullshit. Again, another video made for likes and views, guys. You know it was you know it was fake, right? <laughs> okay, let's see number two. Maybe this one is a good one. Japanese TV. These three girls playing with a Ouija board seem to be on some sort of Japanese television show. This isn't very surprising since some of the scariest evidence of the paranormal seems to come from Japanese game shows or investigation series. Okay. The girls have apparently been threatened by the spirit to not film <clears throat> this encounter, but it's clearly not their decision. The border spirit threatens to curse the girls and they are understandably shaken up. It doesn't take long for all hell to break loose after this. One of the girls claims to see a woman and the group jumps, leaving two of the three young girls on the floor. In their panic, the quarter they were using as the planchette begins to move swiftly on its own. Furniture in the room begins to fly around as if being thrown, and a strange loud clicking can be heard. Alright, so let's uh, stop here for a second and talk about what's going on here in this video. So. Obviously, this is a TV show in Japan, right? So let's pretend for a second that these girls are genuine and they play the game not expecting too much from the what they're doing, right? With the Ouija board. Obviously, there's people behind the camera and behind the scenes. And maybe they just pull a prank on them and to scare them and they, to make them uh, feel like something is real and they actually summon the spirit or something like that, you know? Uh, one of the girls, she says that she saw like a woman Obviously, that might be a crew member who is uh, dressed like a, a, a spirit or a ghost or something like that. So, uh, even I'm gonna go through the end of the of this uh, particular uh, video here on number two, but I'm pretty sure it's a fake one, 100%. The footage becomes more and more chaotic before the video ends, leaving the viewer with concern and a desire for more insight. There's too much happening in this video, right? Before we... Okay, so like chairs and tables were moving and everywhere. Again, it's, it, it is a television show, right? So there has to be a lot of people involved in this one. There has to be magnets and strings attached everywhere. So I don't really buy it, to be honest. If this would happen in a regular house where everything starts to move around, you know, tables, chairs, everything, I might believe it more. Okay. I might believe it more. When it happens on a TV show in a special room that probably was designed for that stuff, easy, easy to fake really easy number all right one, let's mass see possession the elsa peria flores again another one that happens in where is mexico high school in peru ah, it's in peru okay incredibly haunted according to local rumors the school was built on a gravesite that the mafia used to bury corpses in may of 2016 a group of school children used a ouija board to summon the spirit of one of the dead victims and this footage showed it absolutely worked shortly after using the ouija board at least 20 students were all affected by a mass hallucination the children fell to the ground and went into seizures as they vomited <laughs> Now, this one is a weird one, guys. Obviously, there's too many people involved, including police and ambulance people and doctors and, and students, even students, like 20 students. I mean, it's too many involved to be a prank. So who knows what the hell happened here? Unless, what if it didn't happen from the Ouija board and someone, I don't know, they tried to use some drugs or something uh, to help? Because it says that all these kids, they ended up with a... Uh, hallucinations you know convulsions and stuff like that maybe someone put something in the food and all these people all these kids they got some sort of a poison or they got drugged and uh, they ended up hallucinating and um, uh, throwing up and uh, all these problems you know that might be a thing and then they uh, whoever did this to them 
It says that it comes from the Ouija board. I don't know. They were uncontrollable and had to be loaded into trucks and driven to the hospital for examinations. In the weeks that followed, almost a hundred other students fell victim to the same mysterious condition. They would be acting normally one moment and then on the ground having a full-blown seizure the next. It was always on school property. In fact, it wouldn't be uncommon for students from different classes to pass out at the exact same time. Many of the students complained about the same evil spirit attacking them. Even though he says that they, uh, it happened to them because of a Ouija board. I don't see anywhere, even in the news like here. Evil spirit attacking them, a man dressed in all black with a big bushy beard. He always wanted to hurt them, they said. It also wasn't uncommon for the children to hear voices and feel relentlessly stalked, like someone was going to come up from behind and snatch them at any moment. One of the students even claimed to have felt a large pair of hands tighten around her neck. You would think that they could somehow fight back, but high school ends earlier in Peru than most other countries. As such, these were all children children between the ages of 11 and 14. They were all completely helpless and unable to defend themselves. The school officials eventually sought the help of Catholic priests to perform exorcisms and to hold mass. Unfortunately, none of this seems to have helped very much. According to the latest reports, whatever was unleashed by the Ouija board continues to haunt the poor school kids to this day. Okay. All right, guys. So that was the video. Um, I don't know. There were some good ones, to be honest. The last one it's interesting, but again, I'm not sure if the story is the real one. I'm not saying that the video is fake, okay? The video might be real, all those kids, have something happened with them. But I don't know if the story behind the video is the correct one, okay? We're saying that everything happened because of uh, someone playing with a Ouija board. That might be a video that uh, it's from a completely different situation, okay? And it's being used as a as part of a video with uh, demons and stuff like that. Again, I don't know where uh, this dude got this video from. Unless either he's uh, faking it and he's saying that uh, these kids were possessed and everything. Because we didn't see anything happening with the Ouija board. So this one, unlike the, the first nine where you can see people playing with the Ouija board. And you can say, okay, if they got uh, actually in, in touch with a ghost, it was because of the board. In the last one. Uh, nowhere it says uh, anything about ghost, nowhere it says anything about Ouija, and only what he says in the video, this uh, chilling, right? So again, I'll, either he's faking it, and he got the video from another uh, source, where it was a com about a completely different story, not about Ouija board and possessions, and he added the whole story behind it with a board and everything, or, but again, I don't know why he would do that, I don't think he would do that, uh, he seems like a pretty uh, good person who who's making this video just for entertainment. Not, I don't think he would go the extra mile to fake them. But maybe someone gave him the video, okay, or suggested him the video. Well, he got the video from another uh, YouTube page or something like that. And uh, the, whoever had the original video created this uh, backstory about uh, Ouija board and ghosts and stuff like that. In terms of the, the other ones, uh, I don't know. I would say that some of them, they, they're they creepy, but all of them pretty easy to fake, you know? Now, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, even though I don't believe in ghosts and I don't believe in uh, demons and spirits and stuff like that, I would never go and purchase a Ouija board and start playing with it, okay? I would never do that. <laughs> and. Uh, because again, I, at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know what's out there. I don't know what happens. I don't know if uh, we actually have uh, ghosts and spirits and stuff like that and demons. So why risk it? <laughs> why would I go the extra mile to risk it, you know? Unless I'm doing it for like views and stuff like that. But I really don't want to do that. I, I'm not that kind of uh, content creator. I'm trying to, uh, to have an open mind and be honest about what I'm doing, right? Because 
I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous episodes. Because my channel it's a horror, ch it's about mostly horror stuff, or at least I'm trying to make it mostly about horror stuff. You know, I could easily fake some of these videos. I can make this kind of. Uh, scary videos i saw a ghost in my garden a ghost in my house i buy a ouija board and i start to play with it and pretend like i'm possessed and stuff like that just to get some attention on my channel and make some views i don't care about that i don't want to do that kind of stuff i don't want to be a phony i want to be an honest person who's just watching this video react to them and give my honest opinion and maybe play some horror games and that's it okay i don't want to get uh, to that point where i start to fake videos just for the sake of views and uh, subscribers and whatever. Again, it was an interesting video. Not sure how true, real these videos are and how true. To me, they all look fake. But you guys let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think they were fake? Did any of this video seem like a genuine video to you? And if it did, let me know why. Okay? Guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.